welcome back to my channel. I thought we would do something a little bit different this time around. There's no magic. Shin's going to try a whole lot of Australian snacks and some of my favorite Australian snacks. Shin's going to rate each snack out of 10 and tell us what his favorite snack is. And we're going to use these playing cards on a stick to rate each one. Natsu has come to say hello to everyone. Yes, say hi. Say hi. We're going to start with one of my favorites, a Vegemite. Ha, 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 ha. She's already tried this before and I, really doesn't like I it. I already know what my rating for this is going to be. All right, let's go. Shin's going to try Vegemite first. It's best to have on toast. What you do is just toast it, put some butter on it, and spread a thin layer of Vegemite. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> what does it taste like? Like poison. Oh. Why would you ever eat this? It's really delicious. I have like breakfast or like a good snack. Or it's really good like even having it as a sandwich, Vegemite sandwich. Oh. Next we have the original Tim Tams. And this is one of Shin's favorites, so. I've actually had it before. Yeah, we added it in anyways. But the chewy caramel. These are my favorite Australian snack for sure. Chocolatey goodness. The original. Carol would be your favorite, right? Mm -hmm. I don't really like chocolate. Chocolate. So. <laughs> Next we've got jumpies. So I used to eat these a lot when I was a kid. My mom would always chuck them in my lunchbox at school. Here, these are the chicken flavor. And they actually look like little kangaroos. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a little kangaroo. Mm. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, whoa. I've never had this before. Shin's never had these before. Oh my gosh, they're delicious. Really? Yeah. <laughs> this is really good. Wow. You know, when, I, when I saw these, they, they look really similar to something I've had before yeah. in Singapore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna, this is really good. I'm gonna keep eating it later. And now I'm gonna eat it. That's really high school. Cool. It's really good. Mm. Next, we have Chico's. Apparently, in Australia, they're actually changing the name because they. Because it's racist? A lot of people said it was racist. So they're actually changing the name to something else. But yeah, these aren't really my favorites. But that's what we do. Next like, time. smell this. It smells like chocolate. Oh, yeah, that's it's really weird. weird. Oh. Okay. Oh, we have something similar in the US. Again. Okay, we have something similar. But. Sorry. Um, A food. Yeah, it sort of tastes weird because it's like candy and chocolate like put yeah. together it's it's like a it's a swedish fish but chocolate flavored swedish fish this is what it would taste like yeah but i personally don't like chocolate so it's kind of a biased review yeah like i like i'm more of a salty i like salty and sweet but the sweet has to be like a, a swedish fish fruity kind of sweetness i like that chewy chalk flavored jelly babies yeah mm -hmm. they don't they don't even smell that good like, next we have chicken crimpy <laughs> poor natsu shapes are probably one of my favorite snacks i also had this in my lunchbox as a kid they come in all different flavors my favorite actually is probably pizza she likes the chicken flavor so i've had these before what do they smell like oh natsu likes them <laughs> but he can't have them Eight. Really good. These are delicious. Hey baby. Delicious nuts. He wants some. That's why he's coming over here. <laughs> he wants them. He wants all the chicken. Although chicken. I have to say the kangaroo ones. You like the kangaroo, kangaroo ones better? Way better. Really? Uh mm huh. -hmm. That's crazy. 
Yeah, I mean, this this shapes is actually <clears throat> it's like in between seven and eight. I would say seven. Yeah. But you give the jumpies a nine. I would give it a ten actually if I had oh. more probably. If you had the whole packet. I can see myself eating the whole thing. Because <laughs> this one's filling, whereas the jumpies feel healthier. Mm, they're probably equally unhealthy. The next one Shin's trying is the Jam Remington's. Shin's actually already tried one because he's been to Australia a couple times now and whenever he comes I always give him like new treats to try. These are just from our local supermarket Coles. And that's the nice smell of these too. It's like a sponge with jam inside and then it's coated with chocolate and coconut Mm. Yeah, they're good. A seven. It's really, really good, good with like a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. The next one she's trying is a sesame bar. It's delicious. So good. It's like caramelly toasted sesame bar. It's great. Oh, <clears throat> there's something like this in a, it's a Singapore snack that would have, it's like an Asian version of this, I'm guessing. Mm. Also with sesame seeds, um, actually it looks exactly like this, just a little bit thinner. Mm. Um, yeah, I've actually seen something like that yeah. in a cow. Mm. Tastes literally like that one. Really? Mm -hmm. It's my favorite. But maybe more Asian tasting. <laughs> Not this one, but the Singapore one. Oh, okay. It's good. It's good? Yeah. Sieve. I'm gonna have to rest now. Okay. Mm. It's good. Wagon wheels. Uh, I really like these. It's like chocolate coated biscuits with marshmallow and jam inside. But yeah, these are the oh. mini ones. We have some. Usually, like this big. We have something like this in the US. Really? Yes. You I can't like, have it, it's chocolate. I like the American one, but. No. Mm. Uh, between a three and a four. Three and a four. Yeah. And next, we have these Nutrigrain bars. Nutrigrain is a cereal in Australia, it's made out of corn, oats, and wheat. And then they turned it into a muesli bar so you could take it on the go. Oh, pretty good. Mm. Yeah, good. Good. Mm -hmm. Would you rate it? Six. Caramello koala. Yeah. It's delicious. Really good. Mm. Caramel koalas. Yeah, so they're little koala. It looks like a koala bear. It is a koala. <laughs> it's so cute. Mm. Like? We have something exactly like this here. Damn. Good. Next up, we've got a Anzac biscuit. It's really good with a cup of tea. I actually really like literally soaking it in my tea. So then it gets all gooey. But you can get like gooey ones in Australia. They're the fresh ones. These aren't that fresh. Five. The last one is the caramel. Cadbury chocolate bar. This is really new in Australia. I think they started making these like a couple of years ago. And when they first came out, everyone was running to buy them and you couldn't find them anywhere. So apparently they taste really good. We'll leave it up to Shen. I've never tried it before. So we'll let Shen decide if it's good or not. Telling you my honest opinion. Right, so yeah, caramel milk. Oh, I'm gonna take a full bite. Was there too much hype around the caramel milk? Mm. Does it taste good? What does it taste like? It tastes like chocolate. Mm. Like normal chocolate? A three. Uh, now that I've tried everything. Yeah. Um, 
I'm gonna change my score to a ten because this is <coughs> uh, my favorite. Out of, I, I can't believe you haven't shown me this before. Yeah, they're really delicious. They come in other flavors too. Yeah, can I? Mm -hmm. I like that they're like airy. Mhm. Mm exactly. Mm. Delicious. You guys should have. You should get this. Mhm. Mm this is good. Mm. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. What is your least favorite item? The veggie one. The veggie one. one. I don't know how people eat them. They taste... It's delicious. I think a veggie mite is something that you just sort of grow up eating and then you like it. I guess it's sort of like eating durian or something like that. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. it's like a strong flavor. I think it tastes sort of like soy sauce-ish. No? Well, yeah. Um, it has that same sort of flavor. Why would you want to eat soy sauce? Mm. <laughs> it's good. But if you guys want to try it, then go for it. I just bought all of the Australian snacks from a shop in Australia, and they ship everything out to America. So you can just type in Australian food shop on food Google, shop Google, on Google I'm sure and I'm sure you'll, you'll find one. You'll find one. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for watching. I hope this was fun and interesting to watch. If not, I'm very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Shin, for being a part of my video. And yeah, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. And hopefully we'll be back for more. Maybe next time Shin will make me try American snacks because I've never tried peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So <laughs> I can't believe that. Can you believe that? She hasn't tried peanut butter sandwich. Yeah. How? Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly. That's yeah. like the most iconic I've combination ever. And it tastes amazing. Never tried it before. Because it's sweet and salty. But yeah, maybe leave in the comments what American snacks I should try, what American snacks that you guys like and think that I've probably never had because I don't really have many American snacks. So yeah, it would be fun. What other Australian snacks do you like uh, if, that you've already <laughs> tried? Um, I tried the frogs. Mm -hmm. Red frogs. Red frogs. So if you guys want to try and I red frogs. And I would have given that a 10. If, if, if I hadn't tried it before and I tried it for the first time, I would have... They're like it. chewy Swedish fish, right? Yes, they're, yeah. they're a little bit tougher than Swedish fish, mm -hmm. which I actually like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's more they're chewy. They're really chewy. Yeah. They're really chewy, and I, but it tastes exactly like Swedish fish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks guys, bye!